Hi guys, that's my here and I'm back with the Tottenham Tottenham Football Manager series. Um, as you can see, we are looking at the uh, World Golden Ball candidates, and Gareth Bale has been nominated. 17 games, 7 goals, and 12 assists. Average rating of 7.79. So he's been absolutely fantastic. We don't have any other players on there, um, but there is a former player Luka Modric today who's actually been. In terms of average rating, second best player of, of the, well, so far of the year, it doesn't actually take into account. Obviously the time before, because that time wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't, it's not recorded, I guess, in terms of goals and everything. But, anyway, it does get recorded further on, which just scout Marco Royce there. Why not? Um, in terms of other players, um, any shot? There aren't really any major shocks. Um, not for me anyway. But Ibrahimovic don't really rate him. He's got good technique, but oh, he's never he's never cut it for me. Couldn't do it for Barcelona, therefore he's overrated. Um, but and I wouldn't really call that a shock. Even oh, maybe Kabai could be a shock, but at the same time he is a very good player. Um, but I think most people consider him probably the biggest shock. Um, as well as maybe. Moutinho up there that high for the best in the world. We also have our um, We have the FA Cup third round draw which we're in so we're gonna just see who we get we've Got Sheffield United at home So that should be a win we can put out our second team for that and that that'll be good but Anyway, I'm gonna cut the recording here and I'll see you when uh, the match rolls around it is Celtic this episode I can just confirm that Okay, we're back um, and here we are against the Celtic home in the Europa League. White Hart Lane obviously is the home. Um, Loris in goal, Walker, Kabul because uh, we have to move Vertonghen to left back because Asokoto is out injured for the next, well, maximum it says two months. But anyway, so Kabul's come in, Samba's moved to shift over from his normal position to the left centre back, and Vertonghen's moved to the left back position. And we have Fellaini, Sandro, they're in the central midfield as per the as per the norm, the fucking norm. Ruiz, Bale, Adebayor, and Demba Bar. Demba Bar, 7.74 average rating. That is coming close. I've just been taking a look at the uh, best players in the world, and that is coming. I think that's over some of them. You know, it's close to what Bale's on. So, Bar isn't too far away from getting there himself. You know. Anyway, so oh my god. One thing I'm so happy about is that Miku is not playing. I think he's actually injured. Um, that's the first, that's the major one I see. Otherwise, I don't really see a huge decrease in their team from the 5 3 whooping they gave us last time. For Forster and Goal, Fisher, Wilson, McShane, and McGregor. <coughs> Delap, Brown, Delap, and Whelan. They've both signed from Stoke. McCausland, McNally, who's not actually too bad, if I believe, right? Um, he's actually just attacking the field I've, I've heard quite a few good things about him he doesn't seem amazing actually um oh this can't be their re a real player well there is a McNally somewhere and I'm pretty sure he plays rather uh we must play for Celtic because Rangers are pretty crap um unless I'm just getting him mixed up I thought he was a pretty good player he's just some creative player okay uh and Hooper I'm pretty, I thought I'm sure there is a real McNally there um and that is just not. Anyway, on with the team talk. Get my assistants to do it. Motivates a few players. I'm happy. That's good enough for me. And on we go with the match. Um, here we go. So we're at home today against Celtic. So therefore we should be winning better. I um, don't know why it's going a bit weird. Just pause it and unpause it, and hopefully that does it. Oh, okay. <coughs> So our players all seeming composed right now. As long as we win, um, if we win, we win the group, and that's really my main aim. That's why I put our uh, one of my bet, well, best team available, one of my better teams anyway. Um, McNally there. Oh, oh my God. Okay, Celtic seem a good team in this game, which is they are in real life. You know, good results over Barcelona. Even the away loss was a good result. Had I already looking complacent after his five goals against Aston Villa in the last game. Sorry if I spot that view. You might as well just go back and watch it, but not anymore because I have just ruined that. 
um, won't ruin the final score, but it kind of just shows, tells us straight away that we won. <coughs> Five goals straight away from Manabay, although not straight away, but like f by himself was fantastic. Lloris can get there. Um, anyway, Hummels. Um, Hummels, who else was it? Sandra, here we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to watch this and think. Um, Hummels, Baines, now someone else, I can't remember who, have asked to leave for a bigger move. And uh, we've been offered by their agents, uh, Hummels and Baines. The other guy's agent hasn't really offered him to us, but uh, I'm sure he will eventually if we show enough interest. You know, he's offered them, he's, well, he's kind of like contacted us and said he's looking for a move out of his current club, so. Um, hopefully none of our players get that. I don't think they would though, because we're on good form, we're doing well. Um, I, I would expect someone like Damiel maybe to want to leave. Oh, Gallas, I think, wants to leave. He's not get, just get, not getting enough games. But apart from, I mean, like, oh, Adebayor continues his amazing form. Um, no, Gallas is our only player who really wants to leave. I told him we'd just sell him. You know, he's got 50,000 on the wage. He isn't even fourth choice. Uh, Defender, we can always loan some shit guy in just in case for like very last uh, last resort backup if we need to. Um, and, uh, you know, who knows? Sylvester might still be available for free um, if we do really need someone. So uh, yeah, but one up now against um, Celtic um, until the oh another bit of news. Genus has uh, is going to leave the club. He's going to keep here. We sold him for two million. Even though his, his value is actually two point two, I thought might as well just let him go, get him off the wage bill, and get him out of the club. Stop his moaning. He hasn't really been moaning to be honest, but just he will eventually start moaning. Um. Anyway, so one and up. I'm really just happy with a with a win today. So uh, anything is good today in terms of win. Bale, oh that that should have been a fantastic goal and it would have been what a run from Bale there. He can just give you that just random burst of brilliance really. If you just finish that imagine imagine it. Imagine that for a goal. Adebayor's fourteenth goal of the season, he got five of those goals in his last match. Um nothing really happens in team talk but hopefully we can just um keep it up, keep up the winning performance he hasn't, hasn't been anything l like a special game today but um to be honest this is kind of games where it's just getting a job done um really today Demobar couldn't quite keep up guild as well come on for celtic haven't heard of him um so he might be just a regenerator player or maybe he's someone that i probably should have heard about maybe some amazing guy i don't know don't really fo follow celtic too closely I did have a watch there, game against Barcelona. Um, Smith puts the ball over. And yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, there isn't really a lot to say in terms of performance. It hasn't been bad, it hasn't been anything special. Uh, Bale's been particularly good at dribbling. Um, and did he get the assist for the first goal? I, I think he might have, you know. Uh, it might have been him, I can't remember. He's got the assist for the second. As Brian Ruiz sticks it in at the far post, that's a fantastic little run from Bale. Really, really good. And Ruiz, he's never going to miss that, is he? Let's be honest. Um, Ruiz has really turned out to be a much better player in the last few games. Uh, m uh, months slash weeks, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, how since I was really impressed with by him. That was um, when he had a game where he got a couple of assists and a goal, I think. I was really impressed with him. And then that's when I really made the decision, now we'll keep him in. It was never really a massive uh, decision, it was more of one that I just made in my head instead of coming out and saying do I want Adbay or, or um, Damiao as my main target man. Striker Delap actually crosses, oh Delap, it's always weird seeing him with the ball not in his hand. I always think he's shit, but he's not actually too bad a p an actual player either, um, although football manager will have you think different for some reason he always seems to leave Stoke I know he doesn't play for them anymore well he does but I think he might have actually moved to Celtic but uh, he doesn't he's not like in their first team is what I mean I think they've got that Ryan Shotton or whoever it is they get to take their throw-ins now um, which is probably a good thing for them I think Whelan whoever they have 
whoever else they have in midfield is probably a bit better. Bale there running it and just winning a corner. Bale whips it in. Poor corner, to be honest. Comes back out to him. Can he do something else? It's actually a decent cross the second time. Ruiz really should have done better there. Hooper, one of my favourite players um, in all football, not just here today. And, oh, it looks like they've... Oh, yeah, they've got Roy De Lapis there. Long, sorry. The <coughs> reason I like Hooper is he played for my team on loan before he got really big. and Well, I say big, playing for Celtic. He is pretty big, let's be honest. Demabar has scored. <coughs> Tenth goal of the season. Really, really nice stuff from us. We've got that 3 0 cushion now. I think it's time to just make a few subs. And hopefully that'll be fine. Demabar, first time. What a goal. Let's be honest. Now let's make our substitutions. I think I'll bring on Dami. I'll give him a go. Um, he, I think he deserves it. Finally. Did, yeah, I did put him on the bench. He has had some time out. Um, bring him back in. Kabul. Don't want any more defenders getting injured. Or too tired. So we'll bring on Corker. Corker could also do with a bit of game time. Anyone else could do with some game time. Lennon hasn't had one in a while. Defoe as well, um, actually. Fact. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring off Ruiz. Going to play Bale on the right up front and bar as uh, inside four because he can play that role pretty well I just want to give Defoe another a bit just another chance really to go and grab a couple of goals or a goal as well as Damio hopefully they can both um score today and give us five nil imagine six nil and five nil on the bounce against two very historically good teams Aston Villa and Celtic I don't think it's going to happen honestly Damio always oh, actually done well and Dem oh yeah Demo bars on the wing Inside forward, didn't he? I thought I brought him off, but no. Um, okay. Here we go. Bale whips it in. Samba. Oh, and he scored. Near post flick on. Samba scored. I think that's his third, fourth goal of the season. Pretty sure it's not his second. I know he's definitely scored at least one before that. Pretty score, sure it's either his third. Fourth, maybe fifth goal. I'm really not sure. Um, to be honest, it's definitely not his first. Let's put it like that. Uh, one more goal. Six nil, four nil is pretty good as well. Ten goals in two games. That's the equivalent of like um, winning five nil twice. Um, but honestly, I would have just taken the win at any point. That's not Billy Sharp, is it? No, he's playing. Or oh, is it? He seems to be playing midfield and attack. It might be Billy Sharp, you know, who knows. Guild. Whelan. Delap. Brown. Brown's a pretty good player. Don't know what, I don't understand why the Premier League team didn't, never came in for him. He's not as good as he used to be, but I remember there was a time, 2008-9, around that time, he was very good, and before that as well, um, he was a very good player. I never understood why someone didn't in the Premier League didn't snap him up. Bale's run Celtic ragged today. Hopefully he can get that um, best player of the year award. Um, I I don't think it's going to happen to be honest. Calmly just say really well done. S as people actually gained focus for once. Wow. Uh, motivation and gaining a focus. It's a good team talk overall and a really good match. Um, really good result gets us through. Um, and you know even even a loss would have got us through today. So, oh no it wouldn't, Celtic would have won. Celtic still go through as well. Whoa, look at that, 25 shots, only 8 on target. Dominated the, or well not dominated, but we have more possession. Um, a good solid win for us today, as the guy predicted, of course. Um, I don't know what that is. Is that 20 games scoring in a row? So I'm going to guess that. Um, ooh, a goal drought from Lorente. <laughs> look at this, look at how many goals he scored other oh, still, 14 and 19 games, yeah he was on a goal drought, he's been mental in, is it Champions League they're in or Europa, I'm not sure, but he's been mental in it, 10 in 8, but in the league he's not been going too well, um, okay, 
That's good. Michael Appleton, by the way, is the new Newcastle manager. I'll just show you um, what's his face. He is now joining them. Um, and who was the other player we had come to us? Should be down here somewhere. Bale form deserves Wales court. He should be playing for them even when he's not on form. There's there's Hummels being offered to us by his agent. That's really good. I'd love to get him in. But to be honest, we're not having any luck with the money. Um, who's the other guy who wanted a bigger move? So was, I swear there was someone else. There's Baines being offered to us. Um, was there not someone else? There must have been. No, there wasn't. I thought there was. We did make that scout report for Marco Roy, so I might have just been getting it mixed up. Um, so now we've got that 1.6 million on the transfer budget. Um, we're just going to change that a bit, just to try and get the more wages in there. Because um, we want to approach Lorente so that he can join at the end of the season. Anyway, uh, don't need to see this or the all that, but I might as well just leave it there and wrap it up. Um, thank you for watching, if you could leave a like if you enjoyed, comment for any suggestions or anything really if you want to say, and th uh, subscribe if you're new, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.